Okay, hello everyone. Today is November 7, 2018, and the Sacramento Kings fall to the Tor Toronto Raptors 114 to 105 at home. And I know I missed the Bucks game. You know, with that was a that was a pretty rough loss from the score at least. Uh, I guess quickly going over that game, uh, it's pretty much what I expected. We didn't really have anyone to handle uh, Giannis, and they killed us from three. Um, I would say that's essentially the same, essentially the same story for this game against the Raptors. Um, Kawhi came back. Um, also, uh, Bogdan Bogdanovich came back, and yeah, it was just a story of their returns. The Kings were coming off their 3-1 road trip. Um, the Raptors are 10 and 1 coming into this game. Um, currently, the best team in the East. Uh, yeah, uh, obviously the Raptors were favored in this game, um, being their record and with having one of the best players in the league. I would say that we didn't really have an answer for Kawhi. Um, we primarily matched up Amon Trumpert, um, but I'll get to that later. Um, yeah, this is a good team. This is a solid, solid, solid team. Um, potentially a team that will end up going to the finals. So honestly, this is a good loss. Um, we competed the whole game. Um, we really struggled in the first quarter, um, just in the first half in general. Um, we picked up a lot of fouls. There was a really big uh, foul difference put up the tweet from earlier from Sacktown Royalty I think we were there was a gap of like 14 to 5 in fouls at, at some point um so I mean it was it was pretty rough we were picking up a lot of ticky tack fouls uh, but not only that we were losing on the boards as well um really struggling to uh, grab defensive rebounds allowing them to pick up offensive rebounds get second chance points uh stuff of that nature came up pretty slow in the third and didn't really pick it up until halfway through the third um, but even then, we weren't making huge runs. Um, Buddy Heald really struggled from the field. He still ended up dropping 25, 24 points. Yeah, 24 points, um, but a 9-22 shooting. Uh, although it doesn't really show it in Fox's line, Fox, I feel like he really struggled in this game to just find a rhythm. Um, he did score 20 points. He had 20 points, 4, four assists. Yeah, but he also had uh, 5 turnovers. And he, he just really didn't get into like a solid rhythm to where just the team in general actually uh, we didn't really get going like we we didn't really have those like, really big runs of like moments of just us running the whole game um credit to the raptors for really limiting our pace and controlling the pace um so that's that's pretty good for them at least um uh i guess another uh, another key is that um, Bielitz also struggled for us. He didn't really get as much run as uh, in previous games. Marvin Bagley got more of that run. He was playing pretty well, uh, especially on the offensive end. Um, he looked really fluid. Um, a lot of like different moves. He hit a three, had a turn, and then he had a fadeaway jumper. That was really nice. But he, he looked really solid on offense, um, really active on defense and on the boards. Um, so that's what we like to see. Um, and he's, yeah, he's, he's getting a lot of run. A lot of run, especially uh, when he gets going. Um, so that's nice to see from Jaeger. Um, Bogdanovich looked really rusty in his return. Um, not that he was like injured or anything, but he just doesn't look like he's in mas basketball shape just yet. Um, but we'll get into it. Um, other than that, I'm really, I'm really excited about that starting five of Fox, Heald, Bogdanovich, Bielitsa, or Bagley, and Kali Stein. Um, that's really exciting to see. Um, Harry Giles played again. Yeah, he just he didn't play again, but. That's okay. Hopefully he's getting run in practice. Hopefully he keeps his confidence up. Really not too much to say about this game. Um, I just do think that the, the player of the game was most likely Darren Fox. Um, he really is the engine of our team. Um, other than him, uh, Willie Colley Stein played really well. Um, Buddy Heald was the source of, source of our offense for a really long time. And uh, again, uh, Marvin Bagley played really well. I guess uh, just going into like Darren Fox's game. Um, he was really patient, um, like he was really patient when it came to pick and roll situations. Um, there were a lot of floaters in this game. Um, maybe that was the, the Raptors game plan. Um, we didn't really hit, there was a lot of like floaters and shots of that nature that weren't falling for whatever reason. But yeah, we, there, there wouldn't be a lot of plays where, um, the Kings were really settled for threes, nor would they attack all the way to the basket. Um, whether that's the game plan, who knows, but, um. I guess, I don't know, this was just a really frustrating game to watch, um, just in terms of like pacing and, and just the amount of foul calls was like really frustrating to see. Um, a lot of them were very ticky-tack fouls that I personally would not agree with, but it is what it is. 
um i really don't like this freedom of movement like what is it called um points of emphasis uh, where they they're emphasizing like freedom of movement and if you just impede their movement or impede their path at all it's it's considered a foul and i don't know it's just really frustrating like you can't even like touch the offensive player anymore before it's called a foul like it's really frustrating to watch uh, but and that in itself is also the reason why the kings can play so fast yeah, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm just glad that the team stayed in the game. Um, Darren Fox and Willie Collie Stein looked really good in pick and roll. Um, they looked like they were, they were really comfortable. Um, hopefully, they'll get more of that, especially like Fox and Collie Stein and Fox and Bagley. Um, Bogdanovich is okay in, in the pick and roll right now, but um, I think as he progresses through the season, he'll improve. Um, hopefully, he'll be a big part. I'm pretty sure he'll be a big part of our team um, going through the season. Um, so, it's pretty big that he's back. Uh, this was just you know a, a tough team to play against Ka having Kawhi and just having the team being just great on defense um Siakam and Kawhi are just great players Lowry is obviously really great um they're just a very very solid team just going into the bad um like you could see our inexperience when it just came to some game time situations um we, we really closed out quarters poorly I would say um especially the end of the third um I don't know, we're, like, we weren't aware of just how to close out that quarter. Uh, I think there was like 30-something seconds left. Uh, Fred Van Vliet came down, and he was just wide open for three. Gave him a two for one. Um, we came down, I don't think, I don't know if it was a bad shot, but we didn't make it. They came, at, they came down again, and they had a very good look for another three. And so that could have easily been a, a six-point swing to close that quarter out. Um, but that's, you know, it is what it is. Um, just defensive defensively it wasn't we were okay not amazing though um i would just say that um we need to improve on limiting our guest runs um not that they went on in, like any gigantic runs but they're like dead moments of the game or like we were just in it for way too long where we, we couldn't pick it up like we, we couldn't really dictate our pace this game um i guess you could give that cre that credit to the raptors um, not really as a bad for us but yeah we couldn't really dictate our pace um we really struggled from three 35 percent eight for 23 yeah we really struggled from three um right now we're just looking towards buddy healed if we ever need a three and it's it's really tough um when like you can just zone in that one guy and yeah we just need like improvements from three um bogdanovich will improve that once he once he gets into to game speed um, yeah De'Aaron fox he's not terrible from three um, I, he did make a couple today, so that's not too bad. He shot 50%, two or four. Um, not too bad. Um, we're still kind of bad at free throw shooting. Um, not terrible, but definitely below average. Um, so that that needs to improve, and that <laughs> I'm just gonna keep saying that basically every single video. Uh, but yeah, uh, just small improvements, honestly. Um, it was a good game where we stayed compete, we stayed competitive throughout the game. Um, pretty good. Um, the good, honestly, was just the good was our team chemistry honestly i would say with almost any lineup that was out there I, I felt intrigued about somebody on on like intrigued about somebody doing something or like having confidence that that that, that lineup could at least hang cool, you know um especially with bogdan which coming off the bench right now he's just a playmaker that can run the offense pretty solid i guess what's good to see is that our young core is what's like really leading this team um which is different from last year where you know like zebo was our leading scorer like it's just great to see that our our young talent is really what's like driving us forward and keeping us competitive fox Holly stein and he scored over 20 points each and you know that's, that's good to see especially for our development um bagley scored 13 himself you know hopefully we can just keep developing um keep getting this more more experience and yeah i'm just proud that we comp competed with this team um, it's gonna be a really tough November. Um, we played the Jazz twice, the Warriors once. I know we played the Spurs, um, and a few other teams that are just gonna be really tough games. And I would say like this November is really gonna be the defining month of like, are we competitive? Like how good are we? Not are we competitive, but like how good are we actually compared to the rest of the league? What I just hope for is that we stay competitive. 
Uh, just as a cautious Kings fan, we don't expect to win. We just want to stay competitive uh, and we want to see them run. You know, it's, it's really fun to watch them run. I guess the main problem about this game was that we didn't watch them run as much as we hoped to. Might be because of the fouls or how the Raptors dictated pace. Um, either way, um, we had our moments of like pushing the ball and, and getting easy scores off of that. So that was good. Um, hopefully we can keep sticking to an idea identity. Um, and yeah, we'll see where it goes. Uh, I'm really excited how we have an identity now. And we know how we want to play basketball. And it's great to see. Um, who do we have next? So we have the Timberwolves next with Jimmy Butler coming in. Um, I'm not sure if Jimmy Butler's playing. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for that game. Um, hopefully it'll be a good matchup, especially against uh, two, diff two young rosters, honestly. Um, I guess the Wolves being young is kind of relative. Yeah, it'll be good to see. Um, we'll see how the matchup, especially with uh, Cat going up against uh, Willie Cauley Stein. Um, I like to see how Willie Cauley Stein can match up against all these other different bigs. He's been playing really well against um, some good matchups this year, so um, we'll see how he does. Um, maybe we don't win that game, but hopefully, you know, we can pull it out. Uh, we'll see how how much we run. Um, hopefully, we can dictate our pace, and yeah, can pull out a win, and we'll see how it goes. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.